Look, look the wrong way. And Booski. Have a good one, man. Thanks for hanging out. So oh, there's an Earth Pulse Point somewhere here in the Tranquil Woods. Get out of here. That definitely looks like an Earth Pulse entrance. I don't sense he know me not here. We still need to be careful. We might have ousted him from the Earth Pulses, but the four Empyreans are in play now. If we want to learn anything useful, we'll need to go inside. Be Do ready it. for anything. These guys are pretty weak. Your compassion for me. Shoop, shoop, shoop. We can do this. So weird not being able to use my like surfboard, make myself move faster. It's like so slow. You're cool. A forward kill. Here it comes! 
There we go. It was a close one, but I am the victor. Kick his butt. All right. I guess that was just for that, so let's go back. Maybe. Jesus. Yeah, I don't care. <clears throat> and with that, the oath is now formed. Ceres, take heed. I've now embedded a portion of the art formula within your corporeal form. Okay. Over the next several months, it should take hold and crystallize using the power of the oath. The art you'll use to control the power my body has accumulated? That is correct. Brunhild, the sorcerer's ring. It is an art that was lost long, long ago. So that is why you tied the oath to my life force. The formula will only be completed once I've died. Do you have something to say? No. I understand that this is a necessary step in order to realize armatization and bring Enominat under your control. And even though Siegfried possesses a similar power, Lord Melchior has yet to successfully locate the device. Knowing that, our research must be accelerated. That is the only reasonable way. <laughs> then you understand. From here on, you are to focus on completing the Sorcerer's Ring. As you say. I trust you're not having any second thoughts about this? She's a Moloch. Here to serve and nothing more. And today she's proved herself quite loyal. Yes. I am Ceres. I am your Moloch. I am simply a tool for you to fulfill your ideals. Ew. So Ceres took her oath to make armatization possible. But what a heavy price to make her pay. And Artorius did it knowing that she was his reincarnated wife. Oh, who am I to talk? There was a time not long ago when I'd have done the same thing. Regardless, things are now starting to come together. What happened to Ceres and to Eifried and Siegfried? It's all related. This all occurred so Artorius could armatize with Inominat and control him. And then Velvet ended up devouring that power and making herself public enemy number one. How deliciously ironic. No, Ceres knew what was going on, and she still... But the Abbey has secured Siegfried's formula, and they're almost certainly using it to complete Inominat's Armatus. Let's keep going, Velvet. Yeah, we've come too far to turn back now. I'll see this through to the end. All right, let's keep going then. Let's find out more horrible things about people we thought we knew in the past. Yeah. Got 
Guys, I really just... I'm not in the mood. I'll finish this just remember you brought that on yourself. It's been a full century since Midgand reunited the fractured land. In that time, we've enjoyed a blissful era of peace and prosperity. But the world has also seen its faith and moral purity slowly decay, only to be supplanted by deep, profound sin. Ooh. Things have gotten so bad that nobody has even realized that the four Empyreans now slumber. I'm entirely certain that demons will only become ever more rampant. And yet I'm powerless to stop it. Empyreans? Demons? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to hear me grumble. You've already done so much for me. It's fine, really. You've seen so much of the world. Things that I never even knew existed. Yes. I've seen mountains spew flame and lands covered in ice. I've crossed stormy seas and ravines deeper than the eye can see. That's so amazing. Weren't you ever frightened? Of course. We are nothing in the face of nature. It takes so little for a person to lose their life out in the wilds. But in spite of the terror, those seas, the mountains, the forests, the deserts, they're absolutely breathtaking. And even in the harshest of climes, people still find a way to live there and carve out something resembling a home. <laughs> I think I understand you now. How do you mean? I can tell you really love this world. Not just that, but all the people who live in it, too. The world and its people. What a nice guy. Do you really think so? I'm sure. I think you're a big old piece of shit, but. Just remember that you are one of those people, too, you know? You really should try to take care of yourself a little more. I can't do anything right. How could I possibly learn to like myself? I believe in you, Arthur. I mean, my family and I are already quite fond of you just the way you are, no matter your faults. What? Sweet, I have a chance with you? That means I can sacrifice you! That was Velvet's sister and Artorias. That's how I remember Celica. And him, too. I see. Lord Artorius. Eleanor, I know that the exorcists believe from the bottom of their hearts that their work will save everyone. Perhaps. But that won't stop you from fighting them, will it? No, it won't. Oh, <sighs> isn't ignorance bliss? Should we really keep digging up the past like this? Velvet's never been one to pick the easy road. Uh, what's wrong, kiddo? I was just thinking, the Earth in Historia is supposed to be a vast record of world history. It could show us anything. So why does it only ever focus on events related to Velvet's life? Perhaps it's reacting to her presence. Or maybe, since this place used to be a Nominat's vessel, his power is still influencing what we're seeing. If that were true, shouldn't you be able to control the Earth in Historia, kiddo? You're supposed to be part of Enominat. Think of all the juicy secrets we could dig out of the past. Oh, I'm getting pins and needles. I'm not so sure. Having that much access might be frightening. Some things aren't so fun to learn about. Yeah, I sure as hell wouldn't want to have access to shit that happened when I'm not around. Just everyone who ever talks shit about you, just like piles and piles of shit talk. I wouldn't want that. Hell no. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. No 
Victory is ours.